Hello uh, YouTubers, this is another quick video to show the ARC5, ARC5 transmitters. Both are from 7 to 9.1 megahertz. Last evening I got this from a friend who's been a collector for many years. These are, these are for sale and although he did not at the moment charge me for this, he said okay why not take it home, have a look at it maybe fix one and then return the other other because one seemed to have just a minor problem one knob is missing here as you can see I wanted to get a knob from this well that's not it but it appears there are more issues uh, one is the tuning was very difficult here but yesterday last evening we did not open it uh, during our discussion we thought maybe it's just because it needs some grease and oiling but as you can see the flexible shaft is bent I have a feeling there was an impact at this point for whatever reason maybe this was pushed because you can see there's a small depression here and this was pushed and otherwise there's no reason why you can see the shaft here why the shaft should be I mean the length should increase for it to bend like this well we can it was very tempting for me to remove uh, the shaft from here and then fix it here but I do not want to do that uh, then otherwise it's okay uh, it's not uh, meant but then after so many years nobody can expect a, a unit to be meant although he did give me a very mint condition uh, arc 5 but the frequency on that is 5.3 to 7 megahertz. The frequency really doesn't matter to me because I don't really uh, mean uh, this is not meant to be used on the band, amateur bands. I just want to have a working unit on a dummy load. It's okay. Uh, I, don't, I do not want to modify it, nor do I want to purchase anything that is modified. In this, it, uh, it is not modified as such, but here is a mechanical damage. And in this case, somebody was not too careful while I think uh, stacking or loading or whatever so the impact that is why I wanted to bring this home open it and check and as you can see here the one capacitor beneath the top one is cracked it is cracked actually the view is not good in this camera but it is cracked okay so naturally there is so much of impact I have a feeling once I open this capacitor probably even it might just fall off in my uh, uh, break in my finger, hands itself so the bottom one is gone so that has to be done and as you can see some work has been done there's a missing wire here you can see this is the original wire and here something is missing so some mod has been done and uh, this capacitor is still original so no work has been looks it appears nothing has been done to that but I'm told that it is always good to replace this capacitor the the other unit which I uh, got from him it has been factory done or professionally done by the US uh, Army I believe uh, they have removed this uh, single cap that contains three capacitors and they have uh, in, in place of that they have installed three uh, in the in individual independent uh, capacitors not uh, in one package so that's a good uh, job they have done on that it's okay even I could have taken care of this this seems original here there is no work done no modifications capacitor is good but this that is a problem an impact at this point and the shaft is bent so even if I do take the shaft from uh, this unit I think the damage is already done here so it will never be original I'm not sure the other uh, where where all the impact has affected uh, including the uh, mechanism here so that's it and uh, for this unit the silver faced one I even received <coughs> a tag this is what I got along with that BC459A and that's the case bottom and this is the top as you can see a lot of scrubbing and cleaning has been done 
and I don't think that red sticker is original. It has been stuck there. The other one what I have there it is uh, riveted. That's the red uh, label is riveted. So this is the one and that is the bottom cover for this black unit. The black unit the screws were original but it did not have all the screws. I put the screws in, the, in this box here and uh, for the other unit it had uh, uh, in this yes uh, all the screws were not there and if you can uh, if you notice there there are some black screws there are some black tiny screws although the thread is the same the same pitch but these are not original these are black screws I'm not sure from where uh, it's not the same length so that is what was used all around here that is one thing and uh, let me just turn around if I can manage in one hand without damaging so this is the unit and let me just put it here so I have not swapped any tubes and it came uh, with this and it also came with this it fell off and I remembered so that was how it was and I'm not sure what the tubes are I have not pulled them out so this is how it looks inside and the tuning is difficult tuning is difficult and whereas the antenna loading tuning seems okay at places there is a little bit of uh, friction but that can be uh, rectified I think all these labels I'm not sure anyway this one I will uh, try to turn this as well without any damage hopefully in one hand okay managed and that's the black one that's the black one and that's the white one So, in this I did not even remove the, the top cover because there was no point. Because it is damaged and uh, I think the repair will be very difficult if you want to maintain the originality. Look at this, the caution high voltage, this is what it has. Whereas the other one, what I showed you here, it's like a label stuck on it. So, this is the one where it is riveted. There's a tube there and I think this also has everything there, nothing is missing. It has the crystal, it has the magic eye, it has the uh, oscillator tube, VT137. So there you go. And unfortunately I wanted to get a, a near mint, uh, at least unmolested, undamaged one. A little ding here, there it's okay. But there's no point. Although this suits, uh, this is ham band. It would have been very nice. But uh, I'd rather uh, I let it go to somebody else who wants to, you know, modify it and use it on the ham band. I'd rather keep something that is unmodified. So that's the idea. But I thank my friend who trusted me and then gave it to me to check it out. And this is another thing I picked up from him and he has not charged any money yet. Uh, he's yet to tell me how much he wants for it. So I'll pick it up if it is not going to cost me an arm and a leg. He had three units and this is the only one that looked good to me. At least it looks unmolested. It also comes with this.